Right, hello there everybody, welcome to episode 5 of Tube Mixer's Album Reviews and today, well, I'm going to be moving from Roberta Flack to The Wombles. Yes, um, it's the second um, album that I've done of children's TV characters, of course. The first one was Bob the Builder's Nevermind the Breeze Blocks and this one is The Wombles, it's their final album called Super Wombling. Uh, which, by the looks of it, is a very interesting album. I've never heard these tracks before, so this is a completely new experience for me, completely. So, um, I hope you join me, and only one thing to say, run the titles. So I've just finished listening to track one of Super Wombling and it's called The Womble Shuffle. Um, it's very glam rock-esque, which is not a surprise because when the Wombles were at their um, highest in popularity was the 70s, uh, which of course loads of glam rock were dominating the charts, including like The Sweet and Mud and Shawaddy Waddy and people like that. And in fact, this song reminds me quite of the the sweet, actually. Um, yeah, it definitely reminds me of uh, of some of their uh, songs, uh, bands that I really do uh, enjoy. Um, if there's anything, the only downside to this track, I don't think it needs the harmonica. I don't really think the harmonica suits it. Um, it's a bit of a strange choice for such a rock, you know, a glam rock song. You don't think of harmonica as being an instrument for uh, that type of song. Um, so I'd probably ditch the harmonica. Apart from that, it's very catchy. Um, now, <laughs> if any of you are watching here that um, uh, DJs, on, not, not radio DJs, but um, either at parties or weddings, I would recommend this, actually. <laughs> Although I'm not sure how many people would know, uh, know the wobbles and... Um, how many people would be pleased to hear the Wombles? Uh, but I, I do recommend it, actually. It's a, it's a really good song, really groovy, really catchy. Um, I think it will stay in your head because it's, uh, again, that's another sign of a great song. And uh, Mike Matt, of course, on this album does all the, all the, all the vocals um, of all the Wombles, as you'd expect. And, yeah, this is a really good first track. I'll be... Uh, Coming back to uh, revisit this one. Right, move on to track two. Right, I've just finished listening to track two. The legends and myths of King Merton Womble and his journey to the centre of the earth. It's a very long title. And my goodness, it's not your average Womble song. Uh, no, this is, well, you could imagine it opening a film, uh, or, well, even a musical, uh, because it's got, it's got a choir, it's got a full orchestra, um, it's very dramatic, uh, which is not something you really think of, uh, for the Wombles, um, so, yeah, this is a, definitely, uh, a departure, uh, to their, to their usual style. 
Um, yes, goodness me, and it's uh, yes, it's definitely unique. Um, I'm not sure it'd be one that I'd be um, coming back to. It did remind me of the Moody Blues's uh, Nights in White Satin with the, the orchestra and uh, uh, you know elements like that in it. Um, but yeah, very dramatic track, and uh, yes, you could almost imagine it as a, like I said, as a Wombles musical or setting up a film. Uh, to you know introduce you the characters uh, it's about them imagining if they were knights um, so yes it's um, an interesting track right let's move on to track three Right, I've just finished listening to track three, The Very Odds, Down at the Barbershop. Uh, now, if you had a guess, it's basically Mike Batonko doing the Wombles as a barbershop quartet. And, uh, yes, it's. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a song I'll be revisiting. I've never been a fan, particularly, of barbershop quartets, ever. Um, so, I suppose that doesn't help. Um, yeah, it's... it's <laughs> very uh very strange and um some of it um sounds like it like an old radio jingle um just the way they uh they sing some elements um yeah it's uh yeah as i said this album um it's not all the the glam rock pop that uh you know lots of people will know the wombles for there's a large range of styles as you'll find on this album and uh, yeah this track I suppose is uh, proof of that. Right let's move on. So I've just finished listening to track 4 The Empty Tiny Bag Blues and as you can imagine it's a blues song it does what it says on the tin and Mike Batu who I think is one of the softest voices around um, put some grit for this song um, so yeah and, and growls a bit uh, which is something I I just can't imagine with a guy with a voice so soft like that doing uh, but he does uh, to, to sort of really get into that blues style um, Funnily enough, there's no harmonica on this, and you would think with blues track, you know, harmonica is probably one of the most, uh, you know, famous instruments in a blues song, and there's no harmonica to be found, and yet it would have suited this to the T, it would have been much better than on uh, track one, but hey, no harmonica. Um, and uh, yes, it's... Um, so it's uh i'm just trying to well think i don't listen to much blues but i suppose james taylor's uh, steamroller blues um later covered by elvis presley yeah i suppose it does uh shades of that as well and um yeah if you like blues music then uh you you'll like that and uh yes and as i said you know these um you know the wombles that you know it's uh, a lot of stars on this album so we've had barbershop we've had um, well rock and pop i suppose and uh yeah now we have blues right let's find out what's next shall we I've just finished listening to track five, Wombling White Time Tales. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Um, as you can imagine, it's basically uh, the Wombles imagining if they were big Hollywood star like uh, Fred Astaire or Gene Kelly. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a mixture of rock, the, you know, the glam rock and pop and jazz. It's uh, a bit of a strange combination. I don't think it's going to be a song I'm going to be revisiting. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just oh, it was it just quite quite funny. Um, 
<laughs> some of the <laughs> some of the lyrics are clearly made an impression on me because I I can't stop laughing. It's just uh, so funny. But uh, right, let's move on to the next track. <laughs> So I've just finished listening to track 6 and it's called Super Wombo and it reminds me actually of the old Grey Whistle Test theme tune. Um, yeah, if any of you used to watch the old Grey Whistle Test it was sort of a um, more, uh, how can I describe it, sort of the artists that, artists that wouldn't get on top of the pops basically um, and yeah, I so, the harmonica on that uh, maybe that's what Mike Bat was going for but actually I don't think it needs the harmonica like track one the harmonica would be really at home on the um, the empty uh, bag uh, <laughs> the empty tidy bag blues that's it um, I'd forgotten it then already um, it would have felt really home at home on that uh, but yeah I don't think it needs the harmonica on this but um, I suppose if uh, Mike was inspired by the um, old grey whistle test then uh, maybe that's why I put the harmonica in who knows and uh, it's basically the Wombles imagining if they were superheroes so you could imagine it being a theme tune to a Saturday morning uh, animated or live action superhero series right so let's move on so i've just finished listening to track seven miss adelaide she's got a lot of knowledge um Yes, well, th this is a reggae star song, and uh, Mike Bat's voice, I think, really suits um, reggae. <laughs> Actually, uh, you wouldn't have thought it. Yeah, it is a bizarre. Um, although, so this is basically their teacher, Miss Adelaide. Uh, I don't think she was ever fully introduced as a character, uh, just for the purposes of this song. Um, and, you know, there's verses so that. There's a trombone in there. Uh, there's a piano. I really wish those had kept them out because in a reggae song, a trombone and the, the stuff, it just doesn't, you know, it, it, it sticks out like a sore thumb for me, as they say. Um, it, it just doesn't suit it at all and ruins it. It's a shame because it's a really catchy reggae song. And I, I, I like a lot of reggae. So it just... Um, some of these songs are just so bizarre and um, so funny <laughs> that, uh, but yeah, it's it's a really good song. I will be coming back to it though, I think, to, to listen to it again. And uh, yeah, because it's a really good song and if you like reggae, uh, then yeah, I, I think you're going to like it. Yes, it is a bit odd that they stop for trombone and uh, piano solos in a reggae song, so it it might sound odd if you're a particular uh, reggae fan but nevertheless let's move on to the next track so track 8 is called Wombles on Parade and it's basically back to the sort of the standard glam rock pop that the Wombles are, are known for uh, for their music and uh, yes, well, I thought it was going to go to We Wish You a Merry Christmas at times because it did sound like it was going to go into that. Uh, it's got a marching drum and, um, uh, you know, as if it was an anthem for, uh, you know, marching for like guards and stuff. Uh, but then it goes into um, mainly, like, as I said, you know, the glam rock pop. It's very catchy. It will really get in your head. Uh, which is a, a great sign of a, of a song, I, I'm sure you agree. Um, and I will definitely be revisiting this one because, yes, it's, uh, it's a really, really good song. Right, time to move on to the next track. So 
Okay, track nine is called To Wimbledon With Love. Um, basically, it's a parody of, uh, of James Bond songs, uh, particularly, well, the, the title, um, which, of course, To Russia With Love. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a parody of that. And basically all the Bond songs at that point. Um, yes, I think, you know, they've got a full orchestra for this one, so they've got all the dramatic... Uh, you know things you 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 need for a uh, often for a bond song and that's probably you know that helps people recognize you know it's a, it's a bond song um yes it's it's a good song actually uh yeah it's a really good pastiche and uh parody in fact pretty perfect of uh, all all the bond films because uh I've never been into James Bond, any of the films, and I wouldn't really choose to watch any of the films. What I will do, and I, I've heard loads of the songs, and there's there's quite a few Bond songs I do like, including uh, To Russia With Love. Um, so, yes, um, I, would I revisit this again? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I certainly don't think it's a bad track. Do I think it's amazing? No, probably somewhere in the middle. Uh, right, let's move on to the final track. So the tenth and final track is called Nashville Wombles, and as you would imagine. It's a country style song, and uh, Mike Batts uh, has a bit of uh, a twang in his voice. He adopts a Nashville accent uh, for this one, and it. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that noise was. Sorry, I just heard a noise. Um, anyway, so I'll continue on. Uh, it reminds me of Roger Miller's England Swings, um, actually. Yeah, it really does remind me of that, and uh, I do like that one. Uh, good country song and um, yes it's a it's a good song it's really catchy and uh, yeah I, I think it's think it's definitely uh, memorable I don't think you're gonna forget it in a hurry uh, would I revisit it yes yes I, I think I would yeah it's a, definitely a, a really good song right and um, well that's it Thank you so much for watching. If you want to, like, share, comment and subscribe to the Tube Mix YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. And, uh, well, next week, um, perhaps I'm going to be joined by uh, a special guest. Because uh, I've been talking to Ben Carney. Uh, if you're not new to the channel, you will know that uh, Ben and I used to do the... <laughs> uh, we had some drama, but... Uh, we used to do the football show, um, Football Central, uh, where we, we talked about football and gave you pre-match build-up and, uh, <laughs> and stuff like that. So just think about so many of the funny moments with him. Anyway, um, he says he'd be up for doing an album for you. Uh, so he might be joining me to, uh, we might be reviewing the Stone Roses. Um, so that might be next week, uh, but, <laughs> excuse me, but obviously things could change, and if you can't do that, then I'll just, um, do another album and another artist, yeah, I'll have to give a think about that over the week, um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you know, uh, so yeah, I'll see you next week, and, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, goodbye. And stay safe.